The ghost there. A ghost. I love that guy. He's it. allergic to the ghost. <laughs> allergic, I'm allergic the to ghosts. Ectoplasm. Everyone, if you didn't know, I'm allergic to ghosts. I'm allergic. That's the name of the podcast. I'm allergic to ghosts. Hi guys, and welcome to Inside the Ant Farm. Once again, we're back. The we have farm. not done any other podcast today. You can tell we're wearing different shirts. It's and happy reset day to you. And we and we also have the the thing we drank in the last one still in the shot a little bit because <laughs> we're fucking professionals. That's why. <laughs> Let's show off this beer. So I just I just got this over at the Wegmans. A uh, little shilling ale with one of Saranac's uh, newer ones. At least I haven't heard of this. Yeah, I've never heard of this one. Okay, so we have to say then, gentlemen. Slange. Prost. Slange. And slange. And slange. Is that Scottish? It's all Irish. Uh, isn't this Scottish though? No. It is. Most of the time. Oh, same cheers. thing. Racism. Just say cheers. Oh, that's really good though. I'm Scots Irish. Oh, guys, speaking of racism. Yo. Speaking, speaking of, of racism. racism, I was I was uh, working at one of the credit union on the south side today, and, or not, today on uh, Friday, and I was called a white cracker. By a little girl who was swearing like an eight-year-old girl, like six, like seven or eight. Okay, you said a little girl that was swearing like an eight-year-old girl. No, she was swearing. No, she was swearing just like an eight-year-old girl. No, she was. She was like, yeah. seven or eight, but she was swearing. She was like, "Fuck, she's shit." And I was walking past her, and like I kind of, because she's like swearing to this other person she's talking to, who was also like eight or seven, and then. But uh, she looked at you. Well, she 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 like kind of looked. She like kind of like sat at me, and then like when she was like past me, she turned and goes, "You white cracker!" And I'm like. <laughs> She had like Tourette's or something? And I, was, and I kind of want to be like, technically it's Spick, uh, but it's <laughs> yeah, easy, right. easier to say, but it's fine. <laughs> like, it's fine. Cool. But cool. <laughs> but also, I want to kind of, I was also like, the second thing came to mind was like, white cracker. Like, you can just say cracker. Yeah. yeah. It's like ATM <laughs> machine, lady. It's like another it's redundant. cracker. <laughs> listen, you said, that's what you should have said. That's literally, you should have yeah. been like, that's redundant. <laughs> yeah, listen to the little eight year old, get your dishes straight. <laughs> Come back. Come back when you got a better game, okay? I, I, but I literally went like, I was like, because I've, I've, I've like not had a racism committed against me in, at, at all. So I was like, an eight-year-old girl. Like, yeah, yeah, an eight-year-old girl. I was like, that was surprising. Well, your weekend was almost as good as ours, Mike. I gotta say. I heard you guys uh, worked a uh, Renaissance fair. Yeah, it was fun. But me today, me. so last night and today, was we that your were first driving. One? Yeah, it was well, my first one. one. Work at that. It was Parker fun. Cherry. No, we were a good team. We were a very good team. It was a lot of fun. Oh, so oh we made out a lot. Like all the vendors saw us making out. Oh, they were seeing all people. the vendors. And I was like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, what kind of fan? Yeah, the poor there? stilt walkers had their place behind us. Behind there, us. We just spin the bottle with all the vendors. <laughs> And then you just like I got the old chain belt, dude. They just put knives in someone's head at the end. That's a reference to something else. Anyway, but uh, yeah, so we were in the North Country, and it was really high winds, so it was like driving in whiteout for like, like 50, 45, 50% of the drive home. Yeah. Um, and late last night, we're in uh, oh, yeah, in the middle of nowhere, well, and I had no idea where I was well, going. You kind of buried so the, the lead, too, because uh, in the start of this trip, in the start of this trip, we were heading up to Vermont, or actually we're heading good. to Vermont, and we were going to meet uh, our business partner, Ben, right. there, and she got rear-ended. Oh, uh, no. In Plattsburgh. And so she's, and she's okay. like, luckily she's okay. She's okay. But at the time, she called us, like, sobbing hysterically. And we're like, oh, no, no, no. And so we drove to Plattsburgh to the hospital, met her there, and we had to, like, take the stuff. We so got all of her inventory, put it into his car. And, and we, we were a good thing you had the Ford Taurus X. Yeah. Ford Taurus X. It all fit in yeah. there. It's for Oh, my God. Somebody. So that's a great story, too. So, of course, we get stopped going off because I'm a little speed demon. Oh, and uh, the nicest police officer ever stopped us, talked to us. But the funniest part was he comes up to me and he goes, was this so, uh, were these plates on a Taurus no, at goes, some point? He goes, like, this car used to be a Taurus. Yeah, he's like, this, like, this car used to be a Taurus. It is a Taurus. <laughs> <laughs> it is a Taurus, Austin. And I'm like, I did he, this, too. I didn't mean to, but I was like, it's an X. I was like, <laughs> yeah. But he was, like, he was like, oh! And then he go, did he say suck it? And then that's how you got out of the ticket? Yeah, yeah no. Uh, I didn't get out of the ticket. He was very, <laughs> no. he was very, very nice, though. He did he, reduce he was a very nice to put a smile face in the bottom. I was going almost 20 over the speed limit, and he reduced it down to 15, so. Jesus Christ. That's how she rolled. Were you, like, trying to go out of time? Point. Like, what the okay. fuck? Here's the quote. Here's the quote. Well, at one point, she goes, oh, I'm going 100. I should slow down. <laughs> It's if I did that, Jane would either die or kill me. Like she would either die or she would then kill me. Oh, I'm going 100. I actually, I've actually gone like 90 with her, and like I, I see her go, she's like, there's like the foot, like, I'm, like she's pretending to hit the brake on her side, like it's a fucking, like a student car. I don't do that with the kids. 
No, it's just, just, uh, <laughs> just for that. Need for speed. I like that. Because the, this guy is super fun to travel with. We had a really good time. We talked yeah, we had, oh, all the time. And we had this really we, cool jam band. Too. Are you guys yeah. dating? <laughs> uh, cat's out of the bag now. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Hey, let's talk about what we got here. We got yeah. yeah. I'm glad we vamped it up because I don't have a lot this week. Okay. I got a couple things, so that's not too bad. And I only have 3% left, so this might die. Uh, might die. So, so why maybe you start hitting your stuff. Just start hitting your stuff, then. Actually, what I'm going to do, you start talking, I'm going to take a picture of my screen with my phone because technology. You do that. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, there's a Gremlins animated series that's going to be on. Okay. Coming through the WB no, streaming. No, just, no you, you can just stop right okay. there. Okay. Okay. Well, listen, listen. First of all, there's a WB streaming app. Did we know about this? I feel like there's no one on, that no one has ever seen. Like, what else are they gonna show on a WB streaming app? Do we have to watch like Bugs Bunny, like the the crime drama or something? Yeah, yeah. It's Willy Wonka. Or Wonder like Wonder. sexy Wonder. Bugs Bunny. Sexy Bugs Bunny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was well, yeah, too. it is. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah because you know, they have fucking Riverdale. Yeah. So fuck you, CW. So I'm gonna have to watch that on their stupid app. Go. Well, no. did you say it's Gremlins animated series? Okay. It is. This is first of all the. Yeah, article, but what if it's in Mount White? You can fuck. The article oh, called it. It's a, like for furries. The article called it a period piece. A twelve-year-old furry. Yeah. yeah listen, 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 listen. The article called it a period piece. Like the eighties. Period piece. No, no. Here, because it, it's following a young Mr. Wing. Oh, God. Mr. Wing oh, is a big soul. Oh, no, is it anime? This? Please tell me it's, it's animated. animated. I know that, but I don't. Oh know God, God, I hope it's anime. It's fucking ridiculous. Like just destroy the. Nobody asked for this garbage. Hopefully, uh, Dan Aykroyd voices my wife. No, it would be uh, amazing if it was like it was like Inspector Gadget, like old Ghost, but, oh, Ghostbusters like level anime. <laughs> like, it's like the big like weird yeah. round heads. <laughs> I'm, down, I'm you know what I'm all in for this now. <laughs> it's not totally smooth. It's like my ma- wife. Ma- I, I think <laughs> I'm imagining Mr. Wayne being like some kind of kick ass. Like he's got those like kung fu or something, yeah. and like, there's a lot of fighting adventures. But Mogwai helps out of it. He, he, like, drops it on some, somebody's hood and pulls his hat down also, or something. Also, are, are we positing that Mogwai is going to be the character, or will he be, like, Mogwai's dad? Is Mogwai it's Mogwai. Mogwai. Mogwai is ageless. It's, like, his sidekick. He's, like, yeah. an 80-year-old fucking a little, tiny thing. Yeah. You thought he was, like, a little guy played by Howard Mandel, voiced by Howard Mandel. Yeah. Look that up. That is actually, uh, yeah, that's a true story. Oh, uh, but, uh... <laughs> Because that was the thing that happened. Isn't that huh. one of those three things that he's like? That's yeah. what made and they're all the same voice. Yeah, yeah. It was Bobby's World, Mogwai, and I can't remember the other one. But, uh, <laughs> he, had, he had a thing that he was working for. Yeah, it was, he was I, on like, James it. Corden or something like that. And he's like, yeah, and here's the three voices that have made me rich. And he likes it, and they're all the same voice. Um, but uh, So it's a period piece. Period. So what, based in the 60s, like, we're going to get like, a lot of Vietnam things or yeah. something. Like, do, 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 do. He's got, like, Mogwai and uh, Vietnam with him or something. Mogwai, like, like Vietnam's Rocky. happening. Yeah, like Mogwai and Rocky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I, that's all i got to say about that. Hmm. Well. Man, let's talk about Spider-Verse breaking the curse, man. Did you right, this? Yeah. Uh, so, so Spider-Verse the won the best animated, animated movie at the Oscars. Yeah. First time since 2008 that it hasn't been Disney. And I say, thank you. Yeah. Good Disney, job. Disney slash Pixar. <coughs> well, Pixar does make the hits, you know. They make the stuff that makes the world go round. But, but also the Oscars are so white. Oscars are so white. Uh, yeah. I, I'll tell you how white they are in a second. But, uh... <laughs> um, have, you, have you seen Sweat Edge of the Spider-Man? I haven't yet. I haven't, I haven't it's, actually actually digital, it's actually on digital, I think, I'll have to look it up. in like a week or so. I'll have to look it up. So. But I, well, I really want to see it. It's, just it's worth it. To get to your theater, your so. kids will like it and everything. Um, your kids live like it. <laughs> Even your kids will. And your, your kids, kids too. All your Taylor. kids. Your kids are editor. Your kids, editor guy. He does really. Do we have a guy that actually shoots this live? So that's yeah. Is yeah. that still count? His name is Mixon Blake. Mixie. What? Say, if you say his name backwards, he disappears. <laughs> uh, um, but also, best picture was won by Green Book. Mike. Yeah. Do you know what Green Book is? I've never heard of Green Book. Okay, Green Book is a Marshall Ali, oh, well, Viggo Mortensen driven piece where it's like about a uh, super talented black pianist okay. who is going on a, a tour of the TNA. South. Thank like, you good friends yeah. with a. I literally just thought no, he, he's not good friends, friends with him. He okay. picks up a white man because he knows he'll need a driver and protection driving through the South, okay. and right. he gets Viggo so Mortensen you know from the Bronx. Right. Right, and uh, it's like them, you know, you watch this or did you becoming just, friends, no, but, but also her. like the experiences that she's they have. She's our art house person. Yeah. Um, yeah, but our art house okay. correspondent. Yeah. This, this, no, this be everything else. Like, uh, freaking. 
It was. It was. Uh, the, are, are stars born or black? No, Pink it was the. Up? It was the like come from behind that no one expected that they have. You know, every like. No one expected slash the Koch brothers probably told yeah, me how to pick. Exactly. But, uh, <laughs> uh, thanks, Vigo. He couldn't win for Lord of the Rings. We missed for this bullshit. Mar- Marshall and Lee also got the. Oh, I've heard this movie uh, is actually. shit. By the way, I've heard this movie is shit. Green Book. Yeah, I've heard. It's- Crap. Like, so basically, and the guy who the guy who it was written about because it's based on a true story said this is nothing like it was my life. It has nothing yeah. like. It was all made yeah. for the drama. So you're saying this is an American Beauty uh, situation? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Eyes wide shut. Except somehow a little bit less swampy. So yeah. ton, I love it because <laughs> Kevin Spacey was involved in that movie. Um, but uh, also just just so you guys know, the Razzie for best worst picture was won by Holmes and uh, Watson. So. So I, I, I'm still. That's oh, dude, we should have four Razzies. It's a list. It's a list for watch it. Yeah, for the raspberry. raspberry. Cool. Just for the raspberry alone, we have it. No, I've heard that it's it's almost like, it's nearly unwatchable, and I think that's why we should watch it. Yes. Because yeah. it's our duty to do these things. Watson. And Space World. Okay. Space World. Just watch me write this. Don't. don't what are you doing? What's going? <laughs> He spelled a different word, by the way. No, I He's like, know. Spice World. Spruce Bring him, bring him, bring him. I drank a little bit for this. Spruce Mill. Ah, Spruce Mill. Spruce. Spruce Mill. Spruce Mill. Spruce Mill. Spruce Let's talk about fake reviews that are happening right now. So there's basically fake reviews are plugging uh, both Captain, Captain Marvel, Marvel yeah. and... Uh, Star Wars Episode Nine, I guess. Fake just, like what? Like, like dudes are going at Rotten Tomatoes. Mostly, I'm betting it's all okay. dudes, and they're and they're just like, yo, yeah, this movie sucks and it's the worst. It and Ray's a terrible character, and she's smelly, and also Captain Marvel which, sucks because she's stupid. Which, there's, there's nobody even previewing Episode Nine, so that makes yes, sense. Yes, it doesn't have a title yet. Yeah. No one's seen any footage from this yeah. movie. We won't probably till like May. And and the, the Captain Marvel one's been so bad that. Zachary Levi, Shazam, because they keep comparing it to Shazam and like how Shazam's gonna be wrong, he's gonna be like, hey, stop this. It's not helping anyone. You guys are assholes. Like, it's a great video, too. And I was watching it uh, because he's looking directly at the camera and Connor comes up and goes, why is that guy yelling at you? I was like, no, he's just like, no, he's talking to you, daddy. I'm like, okay, okay, I'm not gonna explain this. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. Uh, I'm like, very upset about it. I was like, no. I, okay. So I said, now. Kind of grows up hating Zachary Levi. No. Yeah, that guy hates my dad, <laughs> or he hates me, and he likes and he like thinks Zachary Levi is his dad. That's even that's the worst case scenario. I like that scenario, but also the better case scenario. Yeah. Oh, so all weekend this guy was just like, now there's an alternate reality where we did this other thing. <laughs> we didn't do this. Time. It was actually really fun. That was like a lot of our conversation where we'd just be like, in this alternate reality, this is how things went. What happened in that alternate? Because we're living our best lives right now, dude. This uh, so it's the, the worst reality. life where you're like, you both have, well, well he doesn't have a beard. One was married. like, because we were driving toward the lake, but I didn't really know where I was going, and it's like, oh, we just accidentally drive into Lake Champlain. So <laughs> you're, you're going to go Michael Scott and just, <laughs> yeah. just yeah. I'm going to follow it. Here's the thing, we actually find, driving Lake Champlain, find out Taurus X is an amphibious, turns into a <laughs> right. motorboat. Or something. we find Champy. But then you're yeah. in my Champy. Yeah. Exactly. And then Champy see, so becomes our best friend or our lover. It's one of those twisties. It's one of those twisties. It's one of those twisties where it's like He's a very gentle lover. Caught by Champy. Then caught by Champy. We're, we're, yeah. we're in a polyamorous relationship with Champy for years yeah. now in this in the scenario. And you're just yeah. Aquamaning up to the surface yeah. now. <laughs> hey, my man, I'm with Champy. And then you go back down. Yeah, we ride Champy up to the surface and we just look at people and like, what the fuck? And then you just go back down. <laughs> Like we have we have a picture of a I man. Think it's kind of fan thing. <laughs> we have a picture yeah. of, a, of a man and a dinosaur and a woman, and they're standing on the back of the dinosaur. And they're all fucking. And they said they were all just parts going in parts. And then he said, "My man," and they went back. And they went back okay. into the water. Parts going in parts actually might be the answer. And they went back in the water. <laughs> parts going in parts. All right. In parts. Tell us something. Damn it, so, no, let's talk about Anthem, because I know you've played Anthem. I haven't yet. I, I, Did you get the game? I got it, but I, I haven't been home to play it, so. Matt, um, just, just wait like a month. Well, <laughs> just wait like a month. Uh, we, talk, got, we got your By the way, I just talked message. about this for a while. Anthem yeah. is starting off on shaky legs. That's all yeah. I've heard so far. Hmm. How and they put out this 90 day plan of. Well, are they prosthetic legs? <laughs> they're prosthetic They're legs. EA's uh, fucking <laughs> prosthetic legs. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, they're, uh, so, Anthem. First off, I, I want to mention that Anthem's physical sales are going to be at, or about half what uh, um, Mass Effect and Dramas were, which Mass Effect and Dramas were. Oh, oh, that's not good already. For the first week. That's a bad start. 
I'm trying. I'm really trying. The game has so much potential. Potential. Yeah, it does. It does. Like the graphics are really nice, but it just seems like nobody gave a shit about it. Well, what's what, the, it's not even the graphics aren't that good. Oh, okay. What's nice are the, the, the cinematic graphics, graphics are fine. nice though. Okay. Like like there, there's characters. So like they didn't have enough time. Yes. Here, or they just did have enough. Bioware, unfortunately, they do this thing where they're getting ready to put out a game and they just like don't finish it. That's what happened with Mass Effect and Drama. Well, this is all EA's fault though, because first off, they gave Bioware a skeleton crew to do things now. And, and and they're like, oh, uh, two of your guys can work on the story and the graphics. Everyone else works on multiplayer. And that's what it feels like. But the thing is, is that it's EA's in their first week of service where they don't have things optimized. And like probably 30 to 40% of the times I've tried to get into a game. What are you just doing? No, I'm just okay. <laughs> I'm just not talking. Keep, keep talking. Just keep talking. Okay, I was like, what the hell? Okay. Um... <laughs> Um, where, like thirty percent of the time, forty percent of the times you get on the game to like because you have to play online with other yeah. people. There's a free play thing where you can like play and they like, fly through the open world, but it's not fun because you're yeah, playing by yourself. And there's, there's a people there, but, sky. There's a people there, but they don't give a shit about you. Uh, but uh, it's not. It's not even like not even that much. It's just it's it's stupid. Uh, but but so but when you're playing the missions with other people, you have to wait for them to get on with you. Okay. And so you sometimes uh, they have bad connections unless you're rubber banding around. So, and, and, but like thirty to forty percent of the time, it doesn't even go to the game. It just kicks you back out to the load screen, or or you get in the game. That's bad. You get in the game and it crashes to where your character is just floating around. Literally, I had this happen to my Colossus, which is the biggest mech. He's yeah. this giant mech just floating around. I'm like what? And, and and you can't turn the game off uh, through the game. You have to literally hard reset the game. To get out of it, and I'm like, what? What? That's so, brutal. That's so, brutal, uh, that there was like five cons. I'm pretty sure right there. Any pros? Any pros? The pros are like the like when you actually get to play. I, uh, besides the fact that it's very redundant gaming in general, it's like, oh, you have to kill a bunch of these guys, then move to the next place and kill a bunch of these guys, or it's you have to kill a bunch of these guys, then move to the next place and find five of these That's things. That's a lot of That's another <coughs> con. I was gonna say. But the gameplay is fun. Like, like I, I've been playing. I it's called like, Fetch Quest. That's what it's called. <laughs> I started playing as a Storm, which Storm is like the like a wizard kind of suit. He can like throw elements at people. And he can fl- he yeah. can actually stay in the air the longest. I was gonna do a class. So you can literally yeah, just yeah. stay in the air and just like fucking snipe people, which is kind of fun. Um, being on the ground sucks as a Storm, which which kind of sucks because I like running around on the ground and fighting people. It was like half a pro. <laughs> uh, but but the Colossus suit, which I'm really into yeah. right now, is this giant. Oh, so you're gonna be something else. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. It doesn't matter, man. I was on a team with four Colossus, and we fucking murder balled everyone. Would that be Colossi? Colossi, yeah, I like that. Yeah. And also, they have one big eye, which is fun too. Yeah. Um, so, so like, I, I'm like, I, I'm like running around. You, you have the shield. You're running. Around, I'm just literally just running through people, murdering them with the shield, like fucking Lancelot in uh, in uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. And <laughs> do, 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 I'm like, do, do, do. it was so much fucking fun. <laughs> I, like, like I'm just running, do, 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 like, da, ba, ba. it's like a fucking truck hitting people. It's just like car, like the So will you continue to play? It. Will you continue to play? Yeah. I want to play with yeah. this guy. I was yeah. hoping you get on so I can play with him. Because I, I, like, I know oh, yeah, playing, with, playing with fucking idiots online is the fucking worst, but playing with like, yeah. a friend where you can be but like... But also, there should be a good solo quest. Fuck that, man. I when the solo story is, is okay, but what they do is they're like, hey, so the, you're in the Heart of Rage now, and then the Anthem of Creation, and then the, uh, the, the Tomb of Tadarsis, and you're like, what the fuck is any of that? I don't know. Yeah. What is any of you're that? Like, what? Like, and they're like, and like, literally, it's like talking this close to your face on the screen, so like, you're like, okay, I'm intimidated by you. <laughs> Why are you this close to my face? First of all, what does any of this mean? Is <coughs> yeah. helping me? Like, what? Oh, am I the really heart interested of rage. in any of this? Am I supposed to know about it? Yeah. Great! I oh, I was hoping we get to the heart like, of rage. See, that's the difference. The Mass Effect <coughs> is a fully fleshed out world, a uh, universe, so you knew what was going on um, in the Mass Effect world. So, like, if they're like, oh, this this person's a Krogan, or this yeah, person, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Also, you know what they're talking about. But yeah. also, it was, I mean, like, based in our world. So, like, you're yeah. getting, like, this is so not this based in our world at all. This is not Earth. It's okay. a different place. Yeah. 
So you don't know any of the terms they're talking no, about. No, but he's saying, like, it sets it up. There was, like, background, like, dialogue, and, like, you were given clues yeah. to figure out, Well, yeah, out, that's like, what he's what saying. Well, like, that yeah. Anthem doesn't have that. Yeah, so right, no, 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 I get well, that, and, yeah. like, and, like, eventually, too, they start trying to tell you stuff, but, like, they tell you it in, like, that really close to your face <laughs> way, and you're like, I so just... So it's, like, it's so arresting that I you just can't concentrate? I never clicked the skip button through a story yeah. in a Bioware game, but I'm just like, I don't fucking care. Wait, I just want to go That's not stuff. good, because their stories are usually good. And, like, you have the psychic dude named Owen who is fucking thirsty boy like he's fucking gorgeous but he's also super annoying and you're like just shut up dude cause like hi I'm Ellen I'm gonna talk to you about stuff and like they made so, his character like really good looking and I'm like why so whose like, idea was it this? like that like that's a way to make a game we want to like yeah, fuck you yeah, with this yeah, game yeah yeah, 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 yeah 100% and they, they're known for like making games just to make the maximum amount of money and like it's they they have like the, it's like oh you there's so much customization. In so this game. which one of these but, characters can I fuck in the game? That's what I want. There's, yeah. there's no companion characters. That you don't even get to see your character's face except sometimes in like so a like you said. So like you screen. said in a month in a month. You but you do choose this game. But you do choose your character's face, which is weird because you never see that face. This is actually something that I'm, happens with the games like this. I'm an Asian yeah. woman with like 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 a bald head. And you wouldn't know. Did you choose your? You choose yeah. that. You choose. You choose. Oh, okay. You choose but the you look don't of your see character. It again for the but rest you don't of the see. Game. Yeah. You like see that there's this one load screen when you're getting in the ranger armor that like it shows the yeah. helmet go down in your face. That is it. Like none of the other. That's actually in the beta, by the way. Yeah. Uh, no, none of the other classes. None of the, like the storm class, the classes, or the uh, uh, what is the ranger? Ranger. Uh, the interceptor. Oh, interceptor. Right. The show show the face thing going down. So it's like, why even have a face? It doesn't fucking matter. There's no third person. You, there's no third person option except when you're in the suit. We should just done, talk about just yeah. <laughs> so I, yeah, it's about much, so much anger what's your rating? C minus. Well, the, the thing is D. The thing is, I can't rate it yet because I do like the no, game. No, what's your rating right now? Right, right now, now. F, and then F, in F, a month. F, 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 okay, F. F. I got it. <laughs> Because like I said, dumpster 30, fire. There's no, there's no excuse for thirty to forty. So right now, this crashing. is a dumpster fire with one Miguel with a soda, not giving in, a shit. In two days, I crashed more than I had ever in a Bioware game. Yeah, like oh. in, in any Bioware game ever, okay. including like Knights of the Old Republic. Which yeah. So this is what we're gonna do in a month. We're gonna re-rate it. But the thing is, like, I wanted to play I mean, so bad that I kept getting months. back yeah. on, and like, kind of like, not... Dad, why you turn the game off? And I'm like. Hey, shut the rage, fuck up, little kid. I'm rage quitting. I'm rage <laughs> quitting. Hey, shut the fuck up, little kid. Thanks. <coughs> Have you yeah. seen your dad rage quit? He just did. Um, That's all I'm going to say about that. Let's okay, talk about let's something go. else. Yes. Yes. I'm, I'm heated now. A little heated. Please. <coughs> and I'm coughing. An hour and 15 minutes long. Uh, <laughs> so Black Widow's movie, Mike. Kevin, Kevin Feige has said, not R-rated. I guess there was like this movie oh, where I was going to be R-rated. Oh, man, I wanted some bone. Yeah, I guess like, on, why? just going to bone out of it. Like, what they're thinking of. Maybe she's going to Maybe she's going to gonna gonna bone someone. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I wanted her to bone yeah. someone. Like, fucking yeah. strap yeah. some shit on. Yeah, like, yeah seriously. Here's some enhanced interrogation. Just a gear on. Yeah. yeah. It's just weird. I also want her to get a Russian accent back. She won't. Uh, but R-rated, they, he said, that's actually PG-13. Stop it. Stop, stop saying it's R-rated, please. Um... Shrug, shrug hard. I think that's more troll work. I mean, really. Oh, what? Yeah. What? Because this, because Disney did say that they were like, we're open to R-rated stuff, but like, they're not going to do that. Doesn't no, they're not going to. No. Adventure. It's a fucking flagship adventure. They want to shit on it while also jerking off to it, like at the yeah. same time. Dude, that's what? actually an that's what movie. trolls do. Okay. Hey, that's nerd, yeah. nerds, I'm going to talk to you directly one sec. Stop fucking around with these fake reviews and the fucking just stop it it's getting stupid now you're making us look bad like our, us real nerds you're making us look bad with this dumbass misogynistic bullshit with the fucking just fake news you're the real villains here. yeah fake news fake news China. alternate news China I don't like it um okay that's all I got for that alright what do you mean what do you got do you want to talk about that? Yeah, let's talk about stuff. Yeah. You want to talk about Space Jam? You want me to talk about Space Jam? Uh, do you want what, to? What, what I'm monopolist? I know how much you love Space Jam. I know how much you love Space Jam. Okay. Space Jam. <laughs> Can you read any of those notes? Probably. No, oh, probably not. Okay. Okay. Space Jam's happening in 2021. Space Jam 2, what? Or yeah. reboot? Is yeah, reboot? we're not sure. It's just I Space Jam. I think it's a Jam. reboot. Yeah. Right. But do you know who's directing it? Nick G. No. No. No, think about Steven it. Steven Spielberg. Mike, think like... Oscar winning or Oscar should maybe Oscar possibly Oscar winning director one day 
Oh, one day? Ryan Coogler. Ryan Coogler. Oh, Ryan Coogler. Okay, no, he directed fucking uh, Black Panther. Yeah. What kind of forever, baby? Okay. He's directing Space Jam. Yep. No, good for him. Starring LeBron James. Good for him. Do it, Ryan Coogler. Uh, you get it. So the, it has a release date. July <coughs> 16th, 2021. Yep. Okay. Sure. Um, Why not? Also, there's a video, a viral video of Jordan ask, somebody asking Jordan who he wants to Michael start. Jordan. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Not Jordan yes, Peele. Said. Not Jordan Peele. Uh, Michael Jordan, the original star of Space Jam. Uh, they asked him uh, who he wanted to start. I thought Blake, you thought it was Jordan. Blake, Blake Griffin. He said Blake Griffin. <laughs> hey! Redheads. Redheads. Yeah. Amb- ambiguously race redheads. Uh, <laughs> Whatever. That's what makes him awesome. I love Blake Griffin. No, I think he'd and be he's, he's got actually. a really good sense for comedy. I yeah, think he was thinking I, I think he'd be that. hilarious in it. Actually, I think he was thinking that. Uh, guys. Uh, LeBron right. has acting chops, okay? He does. Yeah, he's pretty hilarious. Yeah, yeah, we're not we're true. not putting him down. We're just saying we see where. I just don't want Antonio uh, and Anthony Davis. You know, yeah. Don't let him do it. Okay? Yeah. Then we're all out of this. Yes. What about Carmelo Anthony? Yeah, Carmelo. <laughs> hey guys. If there's a wee joke in there, maybe. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. Womp, womp, womp. My friend was carrying my weed. Uh, <laughs> See that was a good. That was some good news. I like that. Yeah, I like some of these state action. Um, that's yeah. all we got too. So, oh no, I have one more thing. One yeah, more I was like, what the fuck? Really? Right? You're out already. Uh, I oh, Matt. Hey, wait. We could oh, talk. I have one yeah, more thing to say about too. Space Jam. Okay, when I was 14 years old. Oh boy. And doing dance class, my last dance class. That's what our song was. <laughs> space Welcome Jam. to the Space Jam. We did an entire Everybody routine to Space Jam. It's time to slam now. Yeah. And we were pink and black. <laughs> and if, I, if anyone has this video, I will pay one million dollars. Also, for all it. the other girls were about this tall. <laughs> like they were them? just really short. So I was like, What's "She's that? a giant." I'm, I'm the, the most awkward giants. redhead. Giant dancing in the picture with my giant glasses. I really well, as long as you have so, the giant glasses, yeah. are cool. I've seen those before. So yeah, so uh, Connor loves Space Jam, and that's one of my biggest triumphs as a dad. Yeah, no, it's. Oh, we were talking to this lady uh, over the weekend, and we were saying how this one kid came up and was quoting uh, Monty Breath on the Holy Grail, and I was saying how my boys will quote different parts of that movie, and we were like, that's how you raise your kids right. Hmm. Monty Python. Yeah. Do you have the nights who say me? Uh, um, Sublime the Wrong Way came on the radio today. Uh, wrong way, maybe not the wrong way. Uh, of, uh, not the wrong way. Just <laughs> it, wrong way. It, came out of, like, it came out of the microphone. On my, like, <laughs> not the speakers. But, but some, that came on and Jimmy goes, turn it up. <laughs> yep. I was like, I will. Yep. And also, don't listen to the words. <laughs> yeah, you should. Because yeah, yeah, it's no, pretty small. Yeah, no, she basically yeah. watched the baby so, so. <laughs> It's like that. That person's hurting that person. Like, no, what she said. no, 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 no. I say you, she dead. <laughs> she dead. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> like, you're right. Uh, <laughs> probably, probably. Um, all right. That's all I, I, oh, I have one more thing. One more thing? Yeah. I have one more thing as well. Okay. I actually have uh, two more things. Okay. Duke it out. Outer, Outer Worlds, Matt, does it have a release date? So you remember Outer Worlds? This is yes. the new uh, Obsidian property. It's yeah. it's very fall looking, but like in space, so, so it looks kind of cool. Very uh, nuanced graphics. It looks like kind of um, it's in, like an outer space, possibly like western. A, possibly it looks possibly. it looks more like uh, like the um, what do I think of Bioshock like mm-hmm. look, like that that kind that's of a very western. Cool. So yeah, mm-hmm. um, like a steampunk. Western. But for for some reason, for like a few seconds. Steam put up a date of August 6th as a release date for it. So Of this year? Yes, and then they took it down almost immediately, but it was, of course there's people that are, for some reason are looking at Steam all the time, and they're like, oh, I found yeah. a date! There's like I'm just refreshing! Like 24 hours. <laughs> I'm just refreshing this page! Like, what? Oh, why? News! Why are we doing this? I wonder if they like, charge people. Like, I have $5,000 for the screenshot. Like, so. why do we hurt each other? Um, um, but, uh, <laughs> it's, just, it's just why? Get a fucking life. I, I, yeah, I'm, ex- I'm excited, though. Uh, you know that that game that's, looks that's, fun. I'm sitting this great much developer. Than I thought it might be, and so. now that everyone, every other developer on fucking earth has let me, besides CD Projekt Red, I love you, uh, has let me down. I'm sitting. Might let you down too. Give me something. Well, they, I mean, they did let us down with Alpha Protocol, which is yeah. terrible. But uh, but but this could be good. This could be what we need in our hearts and in our souls. Huh? Yeah. Your heart and your soul. Yeah. 
Heart obsidian. And heart and soul. Do, 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 do. You need obsidian hearts and souls. <laughs> That'd be kind of bad. Uh, obsidian heart is the name of any band. Yeah. So uh, no, that's obsidian. That's a black metal band. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have heard one. Um, Mike, <coughs> James Gunn's Guardians of the Guardians of the Galaxy three script is what they're going to use for Guardians of the Galaxy three. Our heart, our hearts are saved a little bit. Right. He's not directing them. I feel like I talked about that last week, but we have forgot to talk about it. I don't think you did. Um, Mike, his script's being used. Yeah, because it's a fucking great script, and also Disney's smart. They're not going to write a whole new script. That it would be really stupid. Well, as as you may have known or heard, uh, heard from us, because you watch us every week, um, James Gunn was, had some questionable tweets uh, a few several years ago, and he was Which fired. Which he apologized for it before he was fired. And they were stupid, yes. But come on. Ill advised, we'll say. Uh, but uh, he was fired from Grand Jazz. Now he's doing Suicide Squad too, because DC don't give a fuck. Yeah, they, they don't give a fuck. What was like, come get some, yeah. yeah. They're like, we just need somebody who can direct somebody, please. 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 They're trying to do Suicide Squad too, and we're like, no. I would love to do Suicide Squad. I don't know what that G sounds about. Yeah. I'm just making uh, We're going to guess this way, so. <laughs> I mean, you he's got an Irish. Cracker. He's got a three-letter <laughs> Irish name, so I mean, uh, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah. So his script's still being used, so he's gonna get a, a script credit. At least that's kind of cool. Um, and also, it's gonna be good because he knows how to write this. Yeah, and they're gonna, they had to pay him the other way, so why not use this fucking script? You know, it's good. Uh, but we're not gonna take away TD to direct. But this does that mean? So. Does that also mean that we're getting Dave Batista back as Drax? <laughs> he said he would. Was, he said he would do it if they use the script. So, okay, so I thought I thought he did they, say that. Okay, he I said didn't know that. he because uh, at first he said if you maybe that's why they did it. Maybe they're like we have this this great you know hot property still you know. Plus the fact that I'm sure he was written in that script. So right, that's yeah, like write so. a different character. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I'm Flex. I'm a I'm, blue alien that is that's the same. Write that, who's that robot dude? That I have two maces. Let's write that robot dude. In, like uh, Cap Major Victory in there. No, it's like, who's that robot? With the the, uh, I don't the robot. There's like a robot dude just part of the Ghost Galaxy. Um, that's all I got. I don't know the Ghost Galaxy. So the last thing that I have. Yeah, let's see. They released some stills for the new Watchmen series, guys. I, oh yeah, yeah and I filled the cup. It was fucking great. Uh, just looking at uh, uh, Jeremy Irons' uh, the old Ozzy Man. Yeah, and so like this is confirmed that this is going to be like a sequel to the to the Watchmen. Yeah, a lot of times people said it was going to be prequel. Movie. Um, which which was interesting. Um, so Jeremy Irons is an elder Ozymandias, a hooded female going into a building, and there's for some reason there's a lot of these yellow masked police officers. Yeah, I don't. They didn't say what. Not sure why. Either, yeah, so. this is just a thing. Regina um, King was in that. Regina yeah, King is a new character named yeah. Angela Abar. There's a new Rorschach that has a like kind of a this weird budget mask and on. Spoiler well, for the first movie, Rorschach was killed. So that's how we know Murder it's a new Rorschach. Yeah. Like com- he was annihilated. He wasn't just killed. He was literally he was, turned into. He was turned into, into the yeah, like quark. <coughs> yeah, yeah. He was sent off into into dust, less, yeah. less than dust. He's gone, Dunzo. Uh, uh, so, so like this Rorschach's mask is like it looks like it's like spray painted almost, and it has eye holes in it, and like it's very it's like loose in the neck. It's very interesting. Yeah. Like it, it was just like maybe a dude that like thinks he's Rorschach. Or maybe this is the first time he picks up the Rorschach back and doesn't want to use it or something. But it, it could also be like the character from the uh, um, was the what's it, that DC series. After what? Well, the, the one with the new, the new Rorschach. <coughs> oh, 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 I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, the one that's on HBO. No, no, the one—it's a comic. The comic. The, oh, it, oh, oh. Okay, I haven't read the comic. Yeah, so I, can't, I can't remember the name of the comic, but I think it might be after the Watchmen. Now put in the after Watchmen. Or something no, yeah, it's it's called like something like something the midnight, but that's fine. Um, still, uh, they they had that, and they also had a couple more shots of the mast. Uh, Police officers, but they also have these two random masks. Yeah, randos. Dudes. And they have that dude who's like Watch Tower or something. Or they, well, they have like. Watch Tower or something. Like, they, like the guy was played by the dude who is in that Western. In, uh, we're we're Netflix, really good with this one right now. Uh, the uh, Scruggs. <coughs> Scruggs Buster Scruggs. Buster Scruggs. Buster Scruggs. Scruggs. Battle of Buster Scruggs. Yeah, he was in that. He was in that. I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, so the, my favorite part was, that, was these mask dudes because, like, one is he's wearing a red mask and, like, a fucking tracksuit. And like like one of those like Russian made man tracks. Is everyone wearing masks in this? 
Uh, they should be. Well, I mean, you can't tell if the woman with the hood on is wearing a mask because the, the, the back. Well, Buster Scrap Time wasn't it? That's how I knew it was. So I was like, oh, that's him. Okay. Well, they also have um, this one more. There's a woman that plays an FBI agent who I don't remember the actress's name, but it's with the. Uh, the picture of her, like it's just it's like a vanity picture where it's like showing yeah, her she, reflection in a side view mirror of the car. And you're like, oh, that's cool. Like, I'm exci- It makes me a lot more excited for this because it's it's making it a little. I'm gonna watch it. Yeah. Um. So, uh, what do you think of that, guys? What do you think? Oh, also like, the the one dude, the other dude. Sorry, the other dude was wearing like a burgundy like blazer or something with a gold mask, and I was like. What the fuck is this guy? You ever think that like superheroes it. and vigilantes and crime are just pretty ridiculous? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, and this is the Watching Universe too, and like this makes it feel real to me. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it yeah. makes it it makes it like you know, oh, these are like fucking crazy ass. Okay, dudes how as long though Paris. until we get a Billy Crudup? Uh, well, they did Crudup. reference in in the pictures they referenced uh, Doctor um, Manhattan. Doctor Manhattan. They have uh, the site where the, the site and the the year. When he turned himself into Doctor Manhattan, referenced it in one of the pictures. All I'm saying is Billy Crudup ain't doing shit. Yeah, so we're gonna get him. Might as well, right? And he was great. He was a great Doctor Manhattan. Um, I think it's all too vague to tell, but that's the whole fucking point of it. Well, yeah, exactly. so, you know, yeah, so they're teasing it. But it's, all, it's also it's also it's also uh, uh, Damon Lindelof, yeah, and he's yeah. great. You know, he's obviously you know if you've, if you've seen the, the leftovers, Jasmine. Oh, we will. Sure. Oh, we Dude, will. that's like something you should be watching right now. We it's will. fucking sexy. He's like, go watch uh, this yeah. right uh, now. It's sexy. We're we're seriously, turn this off, guys. Everyone go watch the whole series. We're going to watch the whole series tonight. We're going to turn this off. We're going to all go watch the leftovers. We're all going to jerk off. And we're going to just a throw, mostly. I'm going to jill yeah, off. A thousand ass. Thank you. Yeah. I didn't say jack off, or that would have been a good joke. I had to think about that for a second. Why did you say jill? I said jerk. You can't jerk a... Okay, okay anyway. <laughs> hey, uh, hey woo, flick the bean. Hey, guys, this is a kid show, okay? <laughs> yeah. That's why I said flick the bean. Children are watching this. That's all we got, man. Kids, look up some. Ask your mommy what this flick the bean This has been an hour and 15 minutes long, guys. Actually, there are kids that watch our show. This is still on? This is on? That'd be awesome yeah, if it wasn't on. Yeah, it's still on. Okay. It wouldn't hey. be awesome if it wasn't because then I would laugh at you. Guys? Thing. Bang. Boom. Close enough. Say classic.